another fight that hasn't gone particularly long. Are you happy? Are you very happy? I'm, I'm extremely happy, you know. Uh, so many people watching this fight, not even, not just over here, I mean, I've got family, my girlfriend's parents, thank you to them. Uh, they were watching at home. And you know, I always feel like when people take time out of their lives to watch, because this is my life, this is my career, and they're taking time out of their lives to, sorry, yeah. uh, this is the second time of their lives to watch my career, you know, my life. So I might as well give them a good show and, you know, not waste their time. There's never a big reason to keep a fight going on and on and on. So uh, I saw, you know, I ran simulations in my head, especially this past few weeks, and I realized, okay, this is what he's doing. This is how I need to react. There was a few wild punches that might have, you know, could have easily gone his way, honestly, because uh, I disregarded a lot of my defense, but uh, I managed to keep my distance from him. Uh, I think it was three times they tried to clinch me that he couldn't, which I think was instrumental in the fight because he could have came back uh, from the clinches. How do you feel like in terms of, you, obviously your career path's moving really quickly, you're getting first round knockouts, so it's not, it's not hard to match you for the next bull, the next bull, the next bull. How do you feel your career's progressing? You know, exactly as I wanted to, and I'm sure exactly as Adam wanted to. Yes, of course, he didn't want me to go as wild, but like I said, from the simulations I did in my head, that was the most likely scenario for victory, for quick victory, quick easy victory for me. Not that it was easy, I must say. Mm. What would you say is the difference? Because obviously at amateurs, you, you steamroll the guys at professionals. So far, so good. You're steamrolling the guys. What is the secret behind just this success? And the steamrolling. Yeah. Steamrolling. It's the just secret. the steamroll. That's the secret. That's the secret, yeah. You know, um, yeah, I'm quite bigger than the guys I fought. Uh, everyone from my five amateur fights. Which, I mean, most people... You only had five? I only had five amateur oh, fights. Wow. Okay. Yeah, uh, I started my amateur career last year in April. Oh, wow. Last year, you know. So I haven't even been boxing. So you got a long way to go. You know, so yeah. And then um, they weren't particularly good guys. I mean, you don't know, but the amateurs aren't really on the form you expect them to be. Mm. Both the box, okay, the boxers, you know, a guy can only do so much work. But um, in terms of the management, it makes it difficult for guys, you know, for places to stay and even just, you know, having that opportunity. But, uh, but like I said, I'm bigger than the guys and uh, I think I was just more powerful than I was hungry for, you know. I, I think that's what it is. I'm hungry. I want to win. I have to to win. This is my life. If I don't win, I don't eat. It's as simple as that. I, I can't not win and I can't not win well because people need to like me so I get paid more. Absolutely, absolutely. Also, well, at the end of the day, you're going to grow eventually. Your heavyweight division is the most lucrative division, of course. Of course. Uh, when you're looking at the South African heavyweight division, it's very thin. Uh, oh, you're, prob nice. you're probably looking at uh, so you're probably looking at fights against, as we mentioned in previous interviews, unless you fight guys from Africa. But if you're looking in South Africa, Luke Sutherland, Tian Fick, guys like that. Uh, obviously, you Just can't fight. Lose. You can't fight. Yeah. So if he, I mean, if he w win or lose against uh, Justice, maybe he could be a f uh, potential future opponent. Have you looked at those guys? Yeah, you know, definitely. And I mean. Like, like uh, many people overseas, if everyone sees this, you need to know that South Africans, we've got hearts. I mean, even if you just look at this, even if there was a short fight with Gomanda, he, he had several opportunities where he could have fallen and nobody would have blamed him. Nobody would have said, oh man, you could have, but you know, you soldiered on. And that's, that to me, that's the spirit of South Africa. If you look at another fight that was pretty lopsided, in my opinion, against Fissel and Sutherland, you know, Sutherland took that beating like a man. Not that he was, you know, like being ran into the ground, but he soldiered on until the fight was stopped. That that's the that's the spirit of South Africa. Even Josh Petrius mm. against the um, 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 Simba, Flo Simba. Even that fight, even though he didn't come to the corner, you know, okay, okay, so Simba was very experienced. Right? Strong, yeah. It's the it's the it's the spirits of the South Africans. All of us, you know, we keep on going forward, keep soldiering on. So, I mean, the competition in South Africa might not be of the best quality, but you know they're going to have odds. How do you feel that, uh, you know, like obviously we talk about SA and that sort of the build up to the title. When you knock guys out in the first round, do you think it's necessary now to get the rounds in? Or does that even matter? I honestly believe so, you know, but I'm still struggling with me keeping myself because I'm not, I'm not going to tell myself, okay, we need to go three rounds, you need to go three rounds. You know, honestly, you just, a win is a win. A win is a win. But I know I need to get those rounds. And I know better guys I won't be able to knock out as quickly. I would, I would have to be more poised. You know, I can get a knockout with a few good punches rather than storming like I do the Gumana now. But I'm not going to limit myself and tell myself I have to go to. It's been, and then another, another thing, honestly, what I'm worried about is, at least to me, I, don't, I never want to fight to go into the last round. So to me, mm. four rounds is like, you know, fourth round is on the, around the corner. Yeah. I mean, that's a, you 
boxing four rounds is, is very quick, it's 15 minutes. So um, when I'm thinking about a four round fight and thinking about going distance with that, it's like your hair. You I get quite scared, that's yeah, the... Because I get, I get uh, on my nerves, mm. I'm like, your hey, maybe something happens, maybe what I want, you know? You don't want to leave it to yeah. the judges, basically. Yeah, yeah basically. Yeah. And I never want to leave it to the judges. So, mm. so when it's a four round, it just feels so much closer. I think when I'm starting to do six and eight round boxing, I might be just a bit more calm, just because I know there's eight rounds to score a knockout and instead of four. Because I've got more, I've got double the chance to score a knockout in eight rounds, and I do to have it in four rounds if I'm very calm. Mm. So I think it's just because I'm boxing shorter fights. But, yeah. Well, I mean, I sp obviously, I speak to a lot of the boxers, and I spoke to Kevin Drina, and he, he says that you know, sparring rounds are, are, are just as valuable as the, the getting in the ring. Obviously, you're getting in the ring something different, yeah. but to get that experience, guys like Justice, like Kanye, yeah, you know, I mean, the other guys you're boxing against, is, um, is, is, is more valuable than the guys you're going to be beating, uh, fighting right now. I mean, definitely. I mean, Akane sitting there behind you. <laughs> Akane is so good. He's so, he teaches me so much. I mean, he's a lot faster, a lot quicker than me. But, you know, he's a lot lighter than me. So, you know, learning how to move with a guy like Akane and box against him, especially because he comes at you, he's funny. You know, he's not, he's not one of those type yeah. of guys. He comes at you and he goes for you. And, you know, so I'm, I'm used to pressure. So when, when a guy like Gumanda or someone slow, even Justice, comes at me, it's not as pressuring mm. as is what I'm used to. So, yeah, I would say, you know, um, the, the, sparring with, the sparring rounds are more valuable, especially when, I have, when you have such good quality opponents. And the last few weeks, the majority of my sparring was with Akan. So what's next for you? I don't know yet, you know. Um, my coach did organize this tournament and he was extremely, I mean, you could see, you could see he was um, managing it right. And it's amazing because he's giving so many guys, not just me, everyone here, all 12 fighters, opportunity to build their careers and build their legacies. So he, he, wasn't, um, he hasn't been able to tell me yet, but I'm pretty sure, I'm, I'm sure I'll know in the next two or three weeks who I'm going to fight next. Because he, he does work fast and he wants me yeah. to learn. And then lastly, just a shout out to the fans and everyone. First of all, I want to say thank you to my girlfriend, Corlea, my mother, her boyfriend, my father, my sister, and my brother-in-law. Thank you guys all for coming here. I appreciate it a lot. And then uh, the guys watching at home, Corlea's parents, Mum Dani, bye, thank you, little gekeket. And then uh, my brother, he's busy actually training now. I'm going to move you if not coming to my fights. I need to get you. I'll tell your coach, you'll make excuses. And, yeah, and then everyone that watches, and uh, you, Hayden, for always putting this up up on SA Boxing Talk. I constantly see my YouTube feed, new videos, keeping me up to date. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.